Now I'm going to go into a second problem where the word not is used. Questions that use the word not are typically very challenging for students because they have to think about what is not being represented. Let me go ahead and read you the question. Treasure spent five sixths of an hour studying for an upcoming math test. She used objects to represent the fraction of an hour she did not spend studying. What is one way Treasure might represent the fraction of an hour she did not spend studying? I'm going to choose to use the yellow hexagon to represent this problem. Or rather, I'm going to use pattern blocks in general. But because I know that the yellow hexagon can be partitioned into six triangles, I know that it can represent one hour. And it sort of in my mind looks like a clock. So here is our full one hour. And it says that Treasure spent five sixths of the hour. One thing that I need to think about is which piece can represent sixths. And I know that that's the green triangle. So I might instruct students to build on top of this yellow hexagon and show what a full hour is. This is a full hour. I have six sixths, that's one whole. In the problem, we know that Treasure spent five sixths of an hour studying. We're asked to show what fraction of an hour Treasure did not spend studying. But before I worry about what she didn't do, I want to represent what she did do. I know that each green triangle is a sixth. This is my unit fraction. It represents one out of six parts. And to show that she spent five sixths of an hour studying, I could repeat that five times. Since the numerator counts, I know that I have one six, two six, three six, four six, five six. This represents the fraction of an hour Treasure spent studying. What fraction of an hour did she not spend studying? I like using the pattern blocks because I can actually see in the yellow the not answer. It looks like there's one missing triangle, right? So I could actually say, well, if she spent five sixths of an hour studying, then she spent one sixth of an hour not studying. So the answer to the question is, Treasure didn't study for one sixth of an hour. And we know that this is correct because if I combined my one sixth with my five sixths, I would have the complete hour. So when students are using concrete materials to represent not problems, they do need to learn to understand that together, the two pieces will equal one whole amount. So I knew that my five sixths, I'll just build it down here at the bottom. My five sixths, my five sixths together with my one sixth represents one whole. So this amount here, five sixths, the fraction of the hour she spent studying, this one sixth she didn't spend studying, together it equals one whole amount. So this is the not, and this is what she did do. She did spend five sixths, she didn't spend one sixth. I hope this video helps you as you continue your work in the classroom with students using concrete materials to represent fractions and specifically to explain the meaning of the numerator and the denominator when we're looking at a concrete model.